As we look to improving the freshwater conservation for our future, the most powerful thing any of us can do is educate and empower our young people to appreciate and conserve our natural world. The aquarium immerses young people in conservation activities with the hope that they would positively influence their friends to take wise action. Please welcome Shaley Shaw, a junior at Chattanooga School of Arts and Sciences, to share with you how she has been impacted by the week-long conservation summer camp that we've hosted right here on the Baylor campus. Shaley? Thank you. In the inspiring words of Harper Lee, familiarity breeds understanding. During my week-long experience with the Conservation Institute scientists at the Conservation Leadership in Action Week, or CLAW, I was able to truly understand the meaning behind this quote. The story behind it is kind of ironic, I think. While reading the book Inside at a camp that focused on outdoor activities, I was able to recognize the beauty in nature. A coincidence, one might think, but rather the activities I was experiencing through the week were the only things on my mind, even while reading a book that had nothing to do with nature. Naturally, the quote became the center of my focus during the week, and the other campers felt just the same after I ran up to them with the book in my hand, ready to share the thought-provoking phrase. You might be wondering what this all has to do with conservation and the outdoors. Well, through activities such as seining and snorkeling, I was able to see the world through a more complex and insightful lens. Being in an intimate setting with a myriad of differing species was conducive to my understanding of how important biology and ecology education truly is. But not the common method of education through a textbook or a presentation. Rather, an education by experimentation and activity. An education by personal experience. I mean, I got to kiss a fish called a hog sucker. And while it may seem like an awfully weird experience to note, I learned about the importance of biofilm found on the surfaces in rivers and streams, how hogsuckers are bottom feeders, and how to protect their habitats, all while trying to catch the sucker itself. <laughs> That's when I realized that nature was my very own classroom. Of course, it was there at any time for people to view as beautiful, picture perfect, or Instagram worthy, as the kids call it today. But that part is only a tool for those that choose that, that choose to watch it and understand it in detail. I learned how to utilize this tool along with my fellow CLAW campers as we together unraveled the mysteries behind the running waters and flowing grasses of nature as captured in pictures. I have to admit, just one week spent in the outdoors is truly a humbling experience that makes you appreciate the small things in all aspects of your life, not just the outdoors. Just as this camp guided the discovery of minute details underwater and underground, it made me look for the details in the events and people in my life too. I took this perspective back home with me and the result has just been a more fulfilling view on the people that surround me and the experiences that I have. For this reason, I didn't just benefit from the educational experience this camp offered. I also had the chance to do what many today call networking or in my mind, a quick and glorified version of friendship building. I didn't quite know it while I was there, but I was meeting people in Chattanooga and all over the Southeast that shared my interest and passion for conservation education. Everyone was there because they wanted to know what they could do to help change the world. We know now that it doesn't take a commercial or a company to advertise conservation. It takes passionate people that individually put into effect sustainable cooking, habitat conservation, and water protection to spread the word. In fact, that is why I'm here today. CLAW has changed me. It has changed my mind on how I view conservation. I always believed that it was something I didn't have to worry about, as if it were someone else's job. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> However, the future is in my hands. It's in our hands. Therefore, we must think locally, not globally. Otherwise, we can see no change in the world. My hope is that having the Tennessee Aquarium Conservation Institute in Chattanooga will change other people's minds on conservation as well, so they too can help bring on the change by helping our river, lake, stream, and land habitats. That is why I want to challenge each and every one of you here today.
to explore, understand, and conserve. Thank you.